If there's one thing that gives me the nummies in my tummy, it's eating nummies. Actually, it's tech news. Mm. YouTube Red is dead. Long live YouTube Premium. Google has announced that they are killing the YouTube Red service and replacing it, sort of, with YouTube Premium and YouTube Premium Music. Yeah, it's exactly as confusing as it sounds. So here's the rundown. With a $10 per month YouTube music subscription, uh, Dad hadn't even mentioned that one before, you'll get ad-free music on YouTube with continuous play even when you switch apps or turn the screen off and the ability to download music for offline consumption. But pay $12 a month for YouTube premium and you'll get those same features for every YouTube video, not just music, as well as access to YouTube Red Originals, which I, I guess are now YouTube Premium Originals. Also, if you already have Google Play Music, which isn't going away, or YouTube Red, you'll automatically get YouTube Premium. So it's, it's good to see that Google is really streamlining their services, making everything less confusing. That's sarcasm, just, just like their chat apps. What? Call of Duty Black Ops 4 has been officially unveiled with multiple trailers and attempts at using relatable memes. Let's do it live. Just as everyone expected, the game has ditched the single player campaign, opting for an all multiplayer game design style, whatever, I'm off script, so I've lost track of what I'm supposed to be saying. So I guess we will not get any backstory for why in a futuristic setting with robots and laser guns, people are still throwing axes at each other to make other people more dead. Black Ops 4 will have three zombie modes. <laughs> three zombie modes, what? <laughs> with a Titanic map, like Titanic the boat, a remastered version of the Mob of the Dead map, and a Roman Colosseum mode with only melee weapons. Black Ops or something. They've also added a Battle Royale style mode called Blackout, which will incorporate a larger number of players and drivable land, sea, and air vehicles. But you're not gonna get me to switch off my favorite game, Fortnite, unless you add the shoot dance. I don't even know what the shoot dance is. Seen that? Yeah, get it, nice. In other news, net neutrality has gotten a second chance at life thanks to the Senate voting 52 to 47 in favor of reversing the FCC's repeal of the previous regulations, which is to say that they voted to bring net neutrality rules back. It was a double negative before there. FCC Chairman Ajit Pai, it's Ajit Pai, right? Pay? Pai? Whatever, you know what, screw that guy. I don't even care what his name is. And broadband lobbying groups are decrying their vote. They are decrying it, which by the way means crying about it. Saying that it is a step towards a less open internet. Now, the measure will go to Congress where Republicans have a 236 to 193 majority and are likely to strike it down. But hey, at least we try. And by we, I mean other people that aren't us because we're Canadian and we don't live in America. Interesting. Now it's time for non-quick bits because Linus doesn't like them. Brought to you by this shirt again. Guys, time is running out to get your hands on one of the most premium, classy shirt experiences that has ever existed. Also, you can buy this one. There's only five days left, but if you do miss out, there's also a whole new line of tech-linked merch that you can check out, including t-shirts, hoodies, and fun little stickers. Check the link in the video description to check it out. Now it's time for, haha, I'm not gonna say it, take that. Elon Musk gave us a bunch of updates on the status of his boring company, Tunnel, saying that a ticket to ride in a pod and avoid soul-destroying traffic will cost just $1. He's also selling bricks made from the dirt being removed from the tunnel. Quote, they're really great bricks. The greatest bricks. You can like build houses with them and things. Brilliant. I ad libbed the, the greatest bricks part. It just reminded me of a certain someone. Uh, Microsoft has unveiled the adaptive controller to make gaming more accessible with remappable buttons and a ton of inputs <laughs> for connecting. No, I'm just, I was just laughing about the previous part. <laughs> Anyway, it's got a ton of inputs for connecting modular accessories to help those with limited mobility. You can't make a joke about this, Linus. Well, no, that, oh, it's even in the script. No, I wasn't, it wasn't a joke. 
Okay, the makers of Boosted Boards are announcing a new ride-sharing startup called Skip. But instead of bikes or cars, you can rent a little electric scooter and scoot off to your next play date. <laughs> a little scoot will do ya! <laughs> Fully autonomous cars from Drive.ai are now on the roads of Texas. So as a society, we have now moved on to autonomous helicopters with Aurora Flight Sciences performing successful tests with AI-powered choppers delivering supplies. Uh, personally, I'd still stand a, a little further away from the landing pad than if it was a, you know what, I'd just be farther away from the landing pad in general. You know what, don't stand near choppers that are taking off for landing. Google is reportedly developing an augmented reality headset similar to the HoloLens using Qualcomm chips codenamed the Google A65. That's catchy. And that's it for TechLinked, guys. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon. Don't hit it too hard, you don't wanna break it. But, uh, oh, don't hit us because that's all the tech news that we have today. I promise there'll be more coming soon, okay? Okay. Like don't hit us if, because they'd be mad at us. Right. That we don't have more. No, they could hit us in like a good way, like a mm, yeah, do it again way, you know? Yeah, get, yeah hit. Mm. No, hit it. Hit it.